All that is required is this. One, admit Negro doctors to staffs in numbers sufficient to make a difference. Two, admit Negro patients on more than a token basis. Three, white doctors admit Negro patients to formerly all white hospitals in more than a token number. And four, admit Negroes to all paramedical programs no matter what their nature. This is clear and easy and can be done if the hospitals intend to do their moral duty. We were told to rest assured that the President, the Surgeon General, and the Secretary uh, stood behind this. Uh, there would be no whitewash of the hospitals in the Atlanta area. Those who were not in compliance would not receive the money. The communication said that uh, the President uh, and the Secretary of HEW, as well as the Surgeon General, was glad to hear from us, and he, and he was concerned that uh, we were concerned uh, that the letter of the law would be followed in uh, allowing these hospitals to be in or out of compliance. If the hospitals were not following the guidelines of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, they would not be held in compliance.